When life got tough, one Detroit man got baking, and a bustling cookie business was born out of a way to de-stress. If there's one story where I wish viewers had smell a vision, how's that that batter? This would be it. Come see the. Oh yeah, yeah. Where absolutely. the magic happens. You can. Welcome to Good Cookies in Detroit. The name of the business should be Great Cookies. <laughs> It's the culmination of the vision and talent of lifelong Detroiter Jeffrey Gistinar. It started out as like kind of a, a, a life preserver because um, doing real estate, it just was so stressful at the time when the market crashed and I would come home and just and just bake. But good cookies don't stay secret for long. When did you think like, hey, maybe I've got something here? Uh, Actually, I guess it was my wife that told me when she when I started baking five, six dozen a week and she was taking them to work for free and people were requesting the cookies. She said, we need to do something here. And while the official business kicked off in 2013, Jeffrey said he opened his first brick and mortar last summer in the North Rosedale Park neighborhood where he grew up. Over here, I mean, I rode my bike through these streets forever. And what is it about his cookies that has people stopping by even when they live out of state? I'm from Jacksonville, Florida, so every single time I come to Detroit, I don't care where I'm at, I could be in Ann Arbor, I'm coming to Detroit to get these cookies for sure. Well, Jeffrey wants to make it clear it's not because of Fruit Loops. I am a traditional cookie baker, so I don't put puddings and Fruit Loops and things like that in my cookies. From sugar lemon zest to chocolate chip to peanut butter, oatmeal raisin, snickerdoodle and more, the razzle dazzle is in the execution. What what gives me joy is when I get a senior come in here and eat a cookie and say, this reminds me of my mother's cookies. But while the cookies bring people in, the sense of community makes them stay. Jeffrey says his plan is to open up a patio space this summer, inviting people to do movie nights, skate nights and more. This community over in North Rosa, is they're just the best. For now, Good Cookies is open Thursday through Saturday, and Jeffrey says in addition to that outdoor space, he's also hoping to soon secure a cookie truck, so you might just see him one day rolling around at a festival near you. I'm Alexandra Bahu, 7 Action News.